All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Our topic today is about jealousy, but this is a different kind of jealousy. It's not about women. You know, uh, Muslims they speak and they claim that they are more jealous about their religion from others, and I believe that this is not really true. And I will give you a clear example. Uh, uh, before we talk about jealousy, about uh, a God like you know if you love your God you will be jealous for him right and what I mean by jealousy I mean uh, by doing what is right uh, standing for what you believe uh, we know that Muslims they go in the street and they say we will be head who insult Muhammad but we never saw a Muslim go in the street and says we be head the one who insult Allah for the truth is, their God is Muhammad, is not Allah. Allah is just a joke. And every Muslim, he knew that. Today, we are going to show you an example of the false prophet of Islam. You see, if you go and read, um, there's many examples in the Old Testament. However, I'm not going to go to the Old Testament. I'm going to see what Jesus did when it's come to the jealousy about the house of God. You know, all of us, we remember uh, in, in Matthew and, you know, other books where uh, Jesus, uh, our Lord, the Messiah, uh, he entered the temple and he found people buying and selling inside the temple. So what Jesus did, he shouted at them and he kicked them out. Even he flipped the tables on them. I mean, you can tell how angry he was. Now, all of us, we knew that Jesus is very, uh, uh, you know, the character for him always in the Bible is a very uh, tolerant person. So what happened? I mean, this is the same person we always say, he said, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. But even the person who says such a thing, he could not let them do what they were doing when it's come to the house of God. As you see here in front of us, this is Mark chapter 11, verse number 15 to 18. And when he came to Jerusalem, you know, he went to the temple and, you know, he began to cast out uh, that sold and bought in the temple. The Jews, they made the temple, the house of God, a place, uh, a bazaar, a market, a supermarket. Now, this is actually happening not inside the temple. It is in the courtyard. However, this is still part of the temple. Yet, the Messiah could not let them do it. And the person who says, love your enemy, bless those who curse you, the one who, you know, uh, slam your uh, cheek, give him the other one, etc. Now, he is flipping the tables. He is throwing out their merchandise. He is breaking what they have. And he told them, Isn't it written, My house shall be called for all nations, the house of a prayer? But you have it, you have made it a den of a thieves. Now, what Muhammad will do if he is a prophet? Muslims claim that Muhammad and the one so called the Isa, which supposedly Jesus, both of them they are Muslims. So, supposedly, according to Muslims, we are talking about two men, both of them they believe in the same God. Both of them, the house of the prayer is the house of Allah, according to Islam. Now, if this is the Muslim Isa, look what the Muslim Isa he did, just for seeing people buying and selling in the courtyard of the temple. What Muhammad he did in something or in a scenario which is a lot more insulting to the house of God.
Muhammad, he practiced something very weird, showing us that he have no jealousy for what he call him Allah, his God. And that is for a reason. So let us read together the story and see what Muhammad did. And this is story here, and actually this, is, this video is a response to a Muslim about the topic. So I wanted to show him how ignorant the Muslims are. Narrated by Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira means the father of the cats because always he have cats in his lap. Because Muhammad told them that dogs are dirty and cats are clean, which is very funny and very stupid. For cats, actually a bite of a cat can be 10 times more dangerous than a bite of a dog. Go and search it in Google. A Bedouin man stood up and started making water. It doesn't say, what, what do you mean making water? What does that mean? I mean, why was Kandar hypocrite? Hmm? He stopped pissing. <laughs> Even the translation is fake. I mean, those people, those Muslims are really amazing. What start making water? Do you make water? So the man, he stood, he held his penis, and he started sprinkling in the house of Allah. The people, hmm, according to the story, uh, here the translation is very, uh, I mean, I don't know what to say really seriously, guys. I mean, seriously, I don't know what to say. The translation is absolutely false. Look what they're saying here. The people caught him, but the Prophet ordered them to leave him. Where we go, the Arabic in the front of me, where it says they caught him. Any Muslim can show it to me? It says that the man, you know, uh, uh, he he pissed, and they and they and the people reach out for him. They might be reach out by talking to him, or maybe say to him stop, but they didn't say they caught him anyway. Look what Muhammad said. So obviously the people did not like it. And they reach out to the man to stop him from doing that. Maybe they scream at him. Muhammad is saying to them, leave him and pour a pocket of, or a templar of water over the place where he had passed the urine. So it is a urine, not making water. And the Prophet said, he is quoting, you have been sent to make things easy and not to make them difficult. So here Muhammad is saying, the man he pissed in the mosque, and I was sent to make things easy. You are making it difficult. This does not make sense. This is, is that the same Muhammad? Is that the same Muhammad, the one who says, the one who insulted the Prophet, kill him? Is that the one who cut a woman to pieces just because she made a poetry about him? Is that the man who who who, uh, who sent an assassination for uh, for a Jewish guy because he you know he was speaking against him, he, uh, uh, a person who is over the age of one hundred? I mean, what happened in this scenario here? Muhammad was a very weak man. And when I say weak, he have a small number of people following him. And he is a hypocrite man. So now if he decided to stop this man from pissing in the house of Allah, that will cause him a problem he cannot handle. So what is the solution? The solution is Muhammad saying, I've been sent to make things easy. I mean, come on, you know, don't don't be hard, don't be harsh in that guy. But this is not the same guy, the same guy who cut the hands of a person for stealing an egg. I mean, which which is more harmful? Honestly, if somebody stole an egg, obviously he's a he's a hungry person. He's a poor man. He need to eat. Why you want to cut his hand? This is a man. Obviously, he is doing it in purpose. Pissing inside the mosque, 
in the mosque at that time you can imagine it's a small room I mean we are not talking about like now the mosque you see it's costing them 100 million dollar and the people of Somalia are dying but they are building mosque cost them a lot of money because they are hypocrites we are talking about small tiny room a Bedouin guy who is a Muslim I believe he's a Muslim because he was a stand he was sitting between them you see it says a Bedouin he stood up and start making water okay you are a prophet of God and he is your follower so Muhammad in order not to lose a follower because this guy he might not like what Muhammad said obviously he liked to piss in the mosque he is a better when he's a savage person so Muhammad in order not to lose him and maybe his family after him he was so hypocrite and he had no problem for the man to piss inside the mosque but this is contradict the total image we saw about the Messiah remember the Messiah the Muslims they claim he is a Muslim prophet now are you Muslims going to say that this verses in the Bible are corrupt I mean what the purpose of the corrupting those verses <laughs> to make Jesus God <laughs> Why the Christian they want to make such a verses when the Christians always speak about Jesus being very tolerant? There's no make sense to even to say to say such a thing, right? But if this is the same person, the Muslims they have, his name is Isa, and he have a God, his name is Allah, which is funny. Then how come this prophet of Islam, according to them? He did not accept in any way, in any mean, anyone to insult the house of God. And he says to them, Isn't it written, My house shall be called for all of all nations the house of a prayer? But you have made it a den of thieves. So Muhammad, he made the house of his God the house of thieves. Because obviously, those who they are inside the mosque are a bunch of thieves. A bunch of trashy people garbage the lowest of the society and he is not willing like and look here at the hypocrite hypocrisy guys maybe many of you do not notice how bad this is is you see Muhammad did not say to the man don't do that again he just said yeah let it go I mean just uh, bring some water okay and then I, I was sent to make things easy which means he's approving it He did not even have the courage to disapprove what this guy he said he is dead. he is a Muslim he's your follower why you don't say to him you know Muhammad have time after after he became a strong and etc he started telling them what is haram what is lawful what is not lawful you know you cannot have a dog inside your house you know that if you if you have a if you have actually a farming tools inside your house Allah will curse you for every day Allah will enter humiliation into your house for having a, a farming tool so Allah will will, will harm me and will, will humiliate me for having a farming tool which it doesn't make sense because if I don't have a farming tool I mean how I'm going to do farming why this is against Allah because Muhammad at that time he became a war warrior suddenly for he have men but he is a coward and he wanted his men to stay away from farming he want them to be warrior to, to go and attack and bring women slaves and jewelries and gold and silver and come back to him and whoever died there he died who care so Muhammad is the man of his stages when he is weak at that time if you are a Muslim and you piss all over the mosque around Muhammad make a circle make a fountain sing a song in the front of Muhammad and piss in the mosque in the house of Allah where Muslims are praying Muhammad will not even move his ass to say to this man shame on you instead he approved it and he confirmed it and he claimed that this is very right to do what this man did is very right why for he said you have been sent to make things easy and don't make them difficult so 
the God of Muhammad in this stage suddenly he was taking hash hash heroin cocaine and he don't care if you piss in his bed you piss in his house you unzip you zip you take off you do poo poo what if the man put the poo poo I mean what the difference between pissing and doing poo poo there's no different both of them are dirt one is liquid one is solid otherwise it's the same So what kind of a prophet? Where is the jealousy of a prophet of God for his God? This is why we see that the jealousy of Muhammad for his God, it was always nothing, zero. It's about him. When God, he gave him like a privilege, it's about his penis, about his testicles, about his pocket, about his belly. But none of the privilege is about God. You remember, you know, we made videos before about Muhammad claim that Allah said to him, if not you, Allah created nothing of the universe. The heaven, the earth, the hell, the fire, the heat, the sun, the, the moon, the sea, the fish, everything was created for the sake of Muhammad. And the whole purpose is Muhammad. And now Muhammad is trying to get more people to believe in him. And this Bedouin guy, he just entered the mosque as a Muslim. Who follow Muhammad this is why he is in the Muslim he was sitting between the Muslim he's a Muslim he stood up he pissed around and then the Prophet he said oh, leave the guy alone I mean what's wrong with you the guy he want to piss I was sent to make things easy so Muslims why you are upset from me for saying what I say which one is more harmful for you if I piss in front of your Prophet in his mosque during the prior time or saying what I am saying obviously when your prophet was weak he don't care for he is a coward and he is a hypocrite but if you do that when Muhammad is a powerful man he will chop you to pieces when you're alive the same as Isis did the same practice he did before with Ummu Qurfa a woman she is over the age of 80 and Muhammad he split her two pieces when she's alive because she spoke against him and she made a poetry that is the tolerance of Muhammad this is why I say that there is nothing we share with Muslims we don't share the same God Muslims worship Muhammad they don't worship even Allah the Messiah he asked us to forgive everything pray for those who insult you bless them love your enemies but that does not mean you let people come and do what is not right in the house of God this is the house of your God I mean people they have to show respect if you don't believe in this God why you are here go to a different place if you are an atheist nobody is forcing you to enter a church but to come inside my church and try to do bad things that is not going to be accepted Go and do your bad things in your own building, wherever it is. It is a temple, it is a Buddha, it is a mosque, it is etc. Go do whatever you want. However, the Messiah taught them that they are hypocrites. And those who accept the, insulation, the insult for the house of God and using the house of God for their own purpose, he is not a follower of God. This is why Muhammad he don't care for pissing in the house of his God Allah and how can be more insulting than pissing in the house of God where do you pray for God and supposedly Muhammad he love and he protect and he defend his God false man false prophet false teaching false behavior hypocrisy versus no jealousy he was not jealous about his God all his jealousy is about him and his women and his money and this money is not even his so I hope I answered this Abdul who sent me a question saying how come we are more jealous about our belief more than you Christians you Muslims are not jealous about your belief you are just a stupid blind person who is willing to go and die for the sake of your penis all the mujahideen they don't jealous they are not jealous for allah 
They are dreaming. This is why I can show you tons of videos of ISIS and Al-Qaeda and the Mujahideen in Syria quoting before they go to the attack, they start describing how beautiful the breast of the whore, how beautiful the, 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 uh, uh, their asses, how beautiful their skin, how, how sexy they are, how horny they are. Why? Because they want those people to be under the influence of the drugs of Islam. They are not going to fight and die for the sake of Allah. They are dying and fighting for the sake of the vagina. All of you Muslims, you don't believe in God. You believe in vagina. You are not waiting for seeing God and you don't care for seeing God. All what you care for is having endless penis and endless number of women for sex. And a God who cheat you and he says they are virgin, but yet they are not because he put his finger there each time you have sex with them and he made them virgin again. Thank you very much for watching. Share the video, download it, and God bless you, all of you. Christian Prince, miss you all, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.